Hello, and thanks for watching Guitar 101 Rammstein. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, well, I'm uploading a video now. I'm going to be doing a few more uh, Balama videos today, since those are getting the best feedback. Um, this I have mentioned in videos before, I'm sure. I might have even done a video on this a long time ago. It's hard to remember because I have had this channel for a long time. Anyways, I thought this is worthy of its own video, because this is a little trick, little hack, if you want to call it that to make learning Balama a lot easier. I found this huge to be like a huge uh, help. Um, and that is to put fret markers because usually a Balama doesn't have fret markers. So what I used is electrical tape. It's not gonna damage anything. If you wanna get really fancy about it, you could use a hole punch, I suppose, and get perfect circles. I just cut little squares out and put fret markers. And yesterday I was watching this video, a channel, it's all in Turkish. Can't understand a word of Turkish. But the guy did something really cool, and he put the fret markers on the fretboard. So I can see what he's playing. He's using a similar tuning to me. That's A, G, D. I use other tunings, but this one's a pretty common one. The only thing about him is he tunes it up like a whole step. I'm a little bit afraid to do that to break strings. I just ordered a bunch of new strings, so I'll have those in a few days. Then I'll be more tempted to experiment with that. But other than the tuning, you know, when you see the fret markers, it's very easy to learn how to play by watching. You know, as a guitarist, I've always learned that way. Uh, I've done it in the past. You can probably even see here, I have some masking tape where I drew the fret numbers in. That makes it easier when I'm giving a lesson so I can, I don't have to sit there and count the frets. I can just tell, okay, that's fret 12 or something. But um, these fret markers, uh, this system, I copied it from this guy using a short neck saw. I've also done it on the long neck. And um, this is a very, it makes sense to have these markers here, the more I played around with it. All right, so I marked them off at frets three, fret four, fret seven, fret 10, fret 14, fret 17, and fret 19. 19 is, I'm sorry, 17 is your octave fret, so we just go one, one whole step beyond that. All right, and that's it. I mean, um, like I said, if you use electrical tape, it doesn't look so bad, and it's not going to affect the playing or damage the, the finish at all. It's safe. You could try other things. I've seen people use paint and stuff like that, but um, this is non-destructive. You can remove them easily, and it really, really helps. So that's it for this one, just a quick trick that I found extremely useful. I have another tip on Balama, and that's how to make it electric if it's acoustic for cost you about five bucks, five to ten bucks, or maybe free if you have the parts laying around your house, but it's really easy. So I'll do that in a separate video. Make sure you hit the like, make sure you hit the subscribe, that bell notification, because I'll be doing a lot of these videos with the abundant amount of spare time I have right now. Till then.